All right, so let's look at finding the center of mass of a region <clears throat> uh, that might be defined by a function. So the center of mass of a region is located at the point x bar, y bar, where x bar is 1 over a times the integral from a to b of x times f of x dx, and y bar is 1 over a times the integral a to b of 1 half times f of x squared dx. Now, I will say this. This is how the formula is written. But what I'll do is, is when I'm working this, I'll take this 1 half and I'll pull it outside the integral so we don't have to worry about that constant inside there. Now, if it helps us out, I'll leave it in there. But more than likely, we'll pull the, the constant term outside on the outside of the integral. And now a... A is the region of the area, so we have we will have to calculate the region of the area, and you you probably remember that uh, when you did area between curves. Okay, so that's what they're talking about there. So let's take a look at our example. All right, so here's our example. It says find the centroid or center of mass of the region bounded by the curves y equals the square root of x y equals 0 and x equals 4. All right, so let's make a, a sketch of this. Let's just sketch it and see what we've got. So if we graph this, we know the square root function is going to look something like this. Okay, But we're going and we're stopping at x equal 4. Okay, And we got also the line y equals 0, which is just the x-axis. All right. So we're from 0 to 4, and we want the centroid of this region here. Okay. All right, so first thing we have to do is we need to find A. Okay, so let's find A first. So the area, well, that's the area under this curve here. So if you remember, the area is what? That's the integral from 0 to 4 of the square root of x. And what I'm going to do, instead of writing square root of x, we'll write x to the 1 half. And we're going we're gonna to integrate from 0 to 4. And so this is x to the 3 halves and then times the 2 thirds from 0 to 4. And I'm not going to show the work here. You should be able to do that. So that's 16 over 3, okay? And you know how to evaluate an integral now. All right, so now let's go ahead and find the x bar. So remember, the formula is 1 over a times the integral of a to b of x times f of x dx. Okay. All right. So we've got 1 over 16 divided by 3, and we're going to integrate from 0 to 4, the 0 to 4, of x times f of x. Well, f of x is the square root of x, which I'll write as x to the 1 half. Okay. So there we go. So let's see what we've got. We've got 1 over 16 over 3, that's 3 sixteenths, from 0 to 4, and that's x to the 3 halves dx. And so here we have 3 over 16, and then that's going to be x to the 5 halves, so times 2 fifths, okay, and that's from 0 to 4. So that gives us uh, 3 over 40. Is that right? No. 3 over, let's see. That's going to cancel with that. That's going to be a 1 and a 6. So that's 3 over 30. So that is actually 1 over 10. Okay. All right, so that gives us 1 over 10 when we multiply that. 
I'm sorry. That's not a 12, that's 16. So now let's see what that simplifies to. That's going to simplify to 3 over 40. Okay, my bad. I wrote a 12 instead of a 16. All right, and so that's times, and then we need to plug the 4 and the 0 in. So that's 4 to the 5 halves minus 0 to the 5 halves. And when we calculate that, that gives us 12 over 5. And so there's the x bar. All right. Now, for the y bar, that is 1 over a times the integral a to b, 1 half f of x squared dx. So I have 1 over a, which is 3 over 16. Now remember, I told you I'm going to bring the 1 half out, so times 1 half from 0 to 4 of x to the 1 half, that's f of x squared, so that's x to the 1 half squared dx. And so this is what, that's, uh, I'm sorry, making all kinds of mistakes. That's 16 over 3. All right, so when I do this, that is going to give me 3 over 16 times 1 half, and that's from 0 to 4, x dx. Okay. And so that will give us, let's see, this is going to be 3 over 32 when I multiply this, and then x, that's going to be x squared multiplied by 1 half, the reciprocal of the exponent, 0, 4. From, and we're going to evaluate it from 0 to 4. So this gives me 3 over 64 times 4 squared minus 0 squared. And so we end up with 3 fourths. And so our centroid, okay, our centroid, you can see we calculated x bar and y bar. Okay. So our centroid would be 12 over 5. 3 fourths. All right, so I hope that video helped. Sorry about the little mistakes there, writing stuff down wrong, but we got it fixed. All right, so give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I hope this video helped. Thanks.